From our skies to the land and oceans, the impact of mankind's influence is an increasing cause for concern. Global and continuous monitoring of the planet is essential if we are to mitigate or even reverse negative trends. The European Union is promoting the Copernicus programme to study environmental changes both from new satellites and other data sources. Copernicus is at the heart of the Aurora project, focusing on ozone and how best we can use the data available to us now and in the future. Aurora was first launched here in Florence at the final home of Galileo, a central figure in the birth of modern science. Ugo Cortesi is Aurora's scientific coordinator. He believes the new satellite data has enormous potential value to society. The new Copernicus satellites will be unprecedented in their performance and will provide information of real value improving our quality of life. This information can be accessed by anyone, from governments to ordinary citizens. Access, even by a simple smartphone, to information about UV levels potentially dangerous from the sun, as well as from the ozone air pollution. Aurora's focus is on the different roles that ozone plays at varying altitudes in our atmosphere. Cecilia Tirelli is the project manager. She believes their innovative approach will allow them to monitor ozone profiles with unprecedented accuracy. At 25 kilometers, ozone has a positive role because it absorbs uh, potentially dangerous UV radiation from the sun. But at the lower layers, uh, ozone acts uh, as a greenhouse gas and it is a toxic air pollutant. What uh, Aurora let us uh, do is monitor ozone at those different altitudes uh, more accurately than ever before. This is crucial because the better we understand ozone, the better we can protect the ozone layer in the higher altitudes of the atmosphere and the better we can deal with the problems caused by ozone in the lower layers uh, near the surface. Two partners playing key roles in both Aurora and Copernicus are the Royal Netherlands Meteorological Institute and the European Centre for Medium Range Weather Forecasts. While the KNMI developed equipment launched on the Sentinel-5 precursor satellite, the ECMWF is operating the Copernicus Atmospheric Monitoring Service on behalf of the European Union. Both of these Aurora partners operate systems combining observations with computer models of the atmosphere. Another partner is the company Flyby, which is behind the development and operation of the project's IT platform. From their headquarters in Livorno on the Tuscan coast, their equipment accesses then delivers the key satellite data that drives Aurora's work. We are on the roof of our headquarters. This is the outdoor laboratory, and these instruments are measuring environmental and weather data. These are satellite dish that are receiving data from Earth observation satellite. We put all this information in the Aurora IT platform. Monitoring surface UV radiation is the focus of Aurora partner FMI. By combining data from ground-based instruments with satellite measurements, they can build up a truly global UV picture. Aurora also benefits from the research talent contained in two groups at the Royal Belgian Institute for Space Aeronomy. The Institute's main role targets the physics and chemistry of the Earth's atmosphere and that of other planets and outer space. Its UV Visible and Data Synergies groups simulate satellite observations and support Aurora's data analysis. The all-important issue of data is backed up by Epsilon. The company is developing the Aurora web service that aims to provide efficient data access both in machine-to-machine -machine processes and to smart dashboards. Bringing together this wealth of information is Datacraft, whose role is to identify opportunities for realizing the value in Aurora's work. These can include services to monitor air quality and UV levels for the health sector. 
Like so many of the world's great cities, pollution is now a significant issue for the authorities here in Florence. Science and technology has been developing a monitoring system that can alert city planners and the local population when pollution reaches dangerous levels. Aurora, however, will take the monitoring to a whole new level. SNT has already developed air portal which monitors and predicts air quality in our cities. With data from the Aurora project, we'll be able to do this much more accurately than ever before. In fact, in a city like Florence, we'll be able to narrow down the information on pollutants level every 100 meters square. And this is very important because it allows public authorities to take action against air pollution like banning cars and also citizens to avoid the most polluted areas in their cities. Translating scientific data into real-life applications that benefit mankind goes to the very foundation stones of the Aurora project. Commercial partner Flyby has developed a breakthrough app that uses space data to help protect users from overexposure to harmful UV radiation from the sun. EpiSun is the first app personalized that exploits the satellite data to monitor the solar radiation in the sky. EpiSun has under control how much sun you take and tells you when it's the moment to put it in the shadow. Grazie al progetto Aurora, Epistan verrà ulteriormente migliorata e ti permetterà di pianificare le tue esposizioni anche per i prossimi tre giorni. Aurora's first two years in operation have laid the groundwork for a new generation of results that are now starting to be available. The project's scientific endeavor will deliver high quality ozone and UV data while also backing innovative new applications in support of public health and a variety of other sectors. The monitoring of Earth's atmosphere is reaching new heights.